Hello, my name is Miloš Jorzevic. I'm a PhD student from Serbia, working on a CMS experiment here at CERN. Uh, in Belgrade, I am uh, permanently employed at the Vienna Institute of Nuclear Sciences, uh, which is near Belgrade, and also I'm a PhD student at the Faculty of Physics in, at the University of Belgrade. <clears throat> since, uh, 2000, since the start of 2007, I have become a member of CMS Belgrade Group, uh, which consists of uh, 10 scientists and specialists from both uh, the Inch Institute and the Faculty of Physics. So at the Faculty of Physics we have uh, three senior professors, uh, one assistant professor of nuclear physics and one uh, special uh, technician. At the Vinci Institute we have the leader of the CMS Belgrade group, uh, Dr. Peter Ajic, uh, three uh, PhD students of which uh, one, uh, one of them is uh, myself. And uh, also we have an uh, engineer designer, uh, uh, which is also part of our group, but now he's permanently present here at CERN. So the main tasks of uh, our CMS Belgrade group uh, could be divided into three large, uh, 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 three large parts. Uh, first one is uh, certainly the, the largest contribution. This is uh, uh, something that is called the ECAL safety system. Uh, this is the, uh, it's, it's uh, actually called the ESS, it's a part of the large detector uh, control system, so-called DCS, uh, which uh, has been uh, completely designed, uh, both hardware and software, and uh, partly produced also uh, at the Faculty of Physics uh, in the University of Belgrade and the Lynch Institute of Nuclear Sciences. Uh, this, uh, Included actually so, so hardware uh, manufacturing of these uh, particular uh, devices, uh, developing of software packages. So this was completed and uh, t uh, transferred to CERN, installed in the CMS detector, and it has passed the various uh, test beams so far. So this is right now uh, fully functional. Uh, the other part, uh, which uh, involves our group here uh, is, is being uh, actually data analysis and uh, physics analysis. It uh, covers various uh, physics topics. Uh, for example, w one of them is uh, uh, doing uh, analysis uh, and trying to, trying to improve the pion zero rejection, uh, which is uh, one of the most important backgrounds for the for the, for the very popular uh, Higgs decay to, to, to photons. Uh, the other uh, physics analysis tasks uh, are uh, also uh, related to uh, some uh, pre-shower test beams and uh, with both uh, analysis of simulation and data. And uh, the most recent analysis that uh, we have started to work on is, uh, is regarded to the Z-gamma analysis channel. The third part uh, where our group uh, contributes is uh, in the area of uh, uh, engineering and uh, designing. This has been done by, by our uh, engineer, which uh, is uh, permanently present here. And this, uh, this uh, involves uh, designing of uh, various parts of CMS detector and integrating them into the complete detector. And what are you specifically working on? So, uh, since I came here uh, first time in 2006 to be a summer student here for two months, uh, I got acquainted with, uh, with uh, s uh, some uh, uh, experimental, uh, experimental things uh, in the Prevesan site uh, of CERN. Uh, this was a large uh, uh, beam hole where the test beam was performed. And uh, we actually, as summer students, we participated into putting this uh, line together and uh, I got some experience uh, about uh, particle identification on this line using Cherenko detectors. Uh, this experience uh, actually helped me to make a diploma thesis out of this. So when I came back uh, at CERN uh, next year, uh, I started to do some uh, research about uh, and some um, some work on pre-shower uh, calibration. This was, this was actually the analysis of the test beam results from the 2007 uh, test beam. 
and uh, maybe six or seven months ago I have started uh, the most interesting topic, topic for me so far. This is called the Gamma uh, Analysis Channel. Uh, this, uh, we are doing this with the collabor in the collaboration with uh, 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 how to say, National Center for Nuclear Research, uh, Democritus in Athens. Uh, this is uh, a very interesting, a very promising uh, channel that could be uh, that could be tracked in CMS uh, uh, experiment. Uh, so, for example, uh, we actually we actually search for triple gauge couplings, uh, which is actually in the interaction between uh, the very gauge bosons. Uh, some uh, of these triple gauge couplings are allowed by standard model, and also there are some that uh, that are not allowed that we call the anomalous triple gauge couplings. So uh, we search for these triple gauge couplings through the production of D boson final states, and uh, if they exist, we will see this through the enhancement of the total production cross section. If uh, if we confirm by comparing the sim simulation uh, that we are working on with the real data when the real data comes, uh, that that will mean that uh, we have actually found the new physics. It, of course, remains uh, uh, a lot of work afterwards for the theory to interpret this and so on. But this is this is the mostly the, the things that I'm focusing on right now. So when you go back to Serbia, will you continue a career in physics? Yes, most definitely. Uh, so uh, about this, uh, uh, so, so I can say that I have made uh, an early decision, uh, perhaps in the sixth or seventh grade of elementary school, that I'm going to do uh, something regarding to, to physics or natural sciences. Actually, in the beginning, I was more interested in mathematics, but uh, when I got physics in sixth grade, uh, then I then I thought, you know, this is more interesting. This is this is what uh, what I would like to do. This is for for what I maybe have some talent, and this is what I would like to invest my my time and so on. So definitely, uh, when I come back to Serbia, uh, I will continue working on my. PhD thesis and uh, eventually to, to complete it in some reasonable time. And uh, as far as things are going right now, which uh, I, I, I have to admit uh, it can't be better, uh, I will probably not, not go out of physics, certainly. So what's been the best experience at CERN so far? So this is, this is a great opportunity to be uh, here surrounded by the, by the uh, people from uh, various countries, uh, it's a large international atmosphere and uh, the, actually the biggest benefit that you can get is contacting uh, with, with these people. So uh, in the uh, when, you, when you look at the high energy physics that has been done uh, at CERN, uh, there are certainly biggest experts that you can find in the world. So by just speaking to them and contact making contacts with them, you can you can actually improve your, your own knowledge a lot. So I can say when I'm at home, you know, uh, and when I'm here, uh, when I'm here, my my progress is much better, actually. It goes much faster. But the ultimate idea is, of course, to, and the idea of our group is, uh, especially for the young, uh, for the young, uh, for the young scientists, is to, to come here for a few months a year to learn here, to participate in the experiments and so on, and to come back and to, to continue their, their, their work uh, at home. Okay. Any final comments? So, I think that uh, I, can, I can be very, very happy that I'm, that, I'm, that I'm here right now at uh, one of the most interesting uh, um, places uh, at this moment uh, on Earth uh, that they can that they can participate uh, within this experiment and also that they can give some what they would like to say a non-zero contribution to it.